Okay, although it was more years ago than I would like to admit, my wife arranged for us to celebrate my 40th birthday with another couple at my favorite restaurant. I accepted the plan and prepared for a nice quiet evening at my favorite restaurant. So that night we arrived at our friend's house to pick them up and head to the restaurant. We walked up to their front door and rang the doorbell. And when that door opened, there was the loudest shout of surprise, happy birthday, which came from an entire house full of people. Countless faces, and most of whom I hadn't seen for many years. Friends from my elementary and high school years, others from college and from bands that I played in, as well as former and present congregational members. Some had even flown from across the country to enjoy this evening together. I will never forget standing still in that front entryway of that house for about 45 minutes just simply greeting one person after another and catching up on life and the time that had gone by. There on that evening and in that moment, we were all together again. At the end of that long evening, my heart was beyond full. It was overflowing. I thanked my wife and I told her, I imagine this was a glimpse of what heaven will be one day. Consider Revelation 7, 9. After this, I saw a vast crowd, too great to count from every nation and tribe and people and language, standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb. They were clothed in white robes and held palm branches in their hands. And they were shouting with a great roar, Salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. You see, on that day, all who believe in Jesus will be together again. So many faces of the saints who have gone on before, each smiling and celebrating the chance to be together again. This is the sweetest moment of discipleship, the pinnacle party of following Jesus, being changed by Jesus, and being committed to His mission. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we know that in this world, death has caused a temporary separation between us and those that we love and those who have gone on before. And yet, we recognize and we celebrate the gift of eternal life that you won for us at the cross. That gift is given to all those who believe and trust in you. And one day, together with all the saints, we will be gathered up together, all together, in front of your throne. And we look forward to the blessing of that day. Until then, Lord, continue to be with us and guide us. In Jesus' name, amen.